Hello everyone. Today in this video, we are going to see how to upload bank statements in Zoho Books using PDF and Excel format. So first we will see how to upload bank statements using PDF format. To upload a bank statement, we will navigate to the banking module on the left navigation panel. In the banking module, you will select the particular bank which you want to import the transaction. In my case, it is this Axis Bank. When you want to, imp I have uh, already downloaded the bank statement from my bank account in PDF format. You have to be very careful when downloading the bank statement. Ensure that you don't edit the bank statement at all. Download the file as it is from your net banking and keep it in your folder. Do not edit the file. To upload the bank statement, select the option import statement. Select the particular PDF file which is in your local computer. This is my PDF file. If your, if your bank statement has a password, check this box and type the password. If it does not have a password, you can leave it unchecked and proceed. I clicked on import and Zoho will do, do all the magic. We have to just wait and watch. Zoho will categorize, will uh, fetch all the transactions from the bank statement automatically. It will read which is debit, which is credit, what are the narration, what is the date. A few points which you need to keep in mind is ensure that your bank statement does not have multiple accounts in the same PDF file. Say for example with the same bank you have more than one bank account. Ensure that you, there are no multiple bank accounts in the same PDF file. Only one account per PDF file is at the moment allowed in Zoho Book. So you saw that there was a pop-up which came up over here and there's a notification which reads the PDF bank statement has been uploaded in Access Bank for further processing. You will be notified once the transaction are fetched within 48 hours. Zoho says it is within 48 hours but it takes a maximum of 5 minutes to for the transactions to appear in the uncategorized section of your bank account. Say in, within 5 minutes if your transactions do not appear here then there is some issue with either your PDF file or with Zoho. So get that solved as soon as possible with Zoho support. So in our case we've just uploaded the PDF file and we will wait for Zoho to upload the transactions over here. Uh, as I was saying that if within 5 minutes your transactions do not reflect in the uncategorized section there is some issue with the PDF file. In such cases what you can do is apart from contacting Zoho support convert the PDF file into an Excel file. You can either download another bank statement from your bank's net banking in the Excel format or you could convert this bank PDF file into an Excel using the free available PDF to Excel converter tools. So using Excel file also you can upload bank statements which we'll see in the later part of this video. I'm going to refresh my page see if the statements are reflecting or not. Right. So I have a notification here on the top right and the notification reads there are some new transactions in your bank account. So as you can see all my transactions are now reflecting here in the uncategorized section and you can go ahead and proceed categorize them uh, based upon the nature of the transactions into either expenses or transfers etc. So now the, all these transactions are here in my uncategorized section and uh, I am ready for accounting. As I was saying for some reason if these transactions do not reflect in the uncategorized section within 5 minutes of importing there is some issue and in such cases now let's see how you can import a PDF file format into Zoho Books. Sorry, how you can import an Excel format in Zoho Books. So in my case I have already downloaded an Excel uh, bank statement from my bank server and kept it ready for importing. I have not made any changes in the Excel file except for downloading it and saving in the respective folder whatsoever. The mandatory fields are number one transaction date. Oh yeah, you have to ensure that there is no data above your header line. For example, if your name, your address, account number, type of account, etc. All those details are there in your Excel file. You have to delete all those details on the top rows and your first row has to be the header of your Excel file. Okay, header of your bank statement. Uh, all the headers must have a name. You cannot leave any of them blank. If you leave it blank, Zoho will not accept. Ensure you put anything in the name, but there has to be a name. Which are my important fields? So first is my uh, 
transaction date. This is going to be the date which Zoho will use for the transaction. Transaction particular, this is going to be my narration of the transaction. Debit and credit. These are the these are the basic mandatory requirements which we will need to map while uploading the statement. Apart from this, the other details like check number, other details like check number, the branch, value date, etc. are optional. Balance is not required. This will automatically be uh, updated. So if there is other details, there are some banks give pay, name of payee, who is the beneficiary, etc. So all those details can be mapped later on. Are not mandatory, they can be mapped. Optional details. Okay. So I am now in Zoho Books. I am going to import the statement in Excel format. So I've clicked on import statement. I'm going to show you again in the navigation panel. I've gone to the banking module. I will select the respective bank which I want to upload the transaction. In my case, it's the Axis Bank. I'm going to select the option import statement. So far, it's the same procedure like we did in PDF. And choose the particular file. You can see here that there are restrictions. The maximum size of the file can only be 1 MB for CSV, CSV, XLS, OFX, UIF, etc. format. And for PDF, the file limit, size limit is 5 MB. All right. I, I have attached the, uh, the bank statement. The type is double column. Okay. So there are two options here, double and single column. I'm going to tell, tell you what they mean. In this case, debit and credit are in two different columns and that's what is called as a double column. But if there are some banks which give debit and credit in a single column and in the third column they write that this is a credit, this is a credit, this is a debit and data is only in a single column. That's only this column there will be amount and this column will be the debit or credit. In this case, which I just explained, where there is only one column, it's called a single column file, a single column bank statement and where the debits and credits are in two different columns, it's called the double column. Bank statement. So I'm using the double column. I'm not changing the character coding. And I selected next. This is where we map the field based upon the data which we have. So if all my yellow transactions, the yellow headers are mandatory, which we will be needing from the accounts perspective. So first is the transaction date. This is asking me date. My date is in the column transaction date. Next is the format in which my date is in Excel file. So here as you can see my file, the, the date is in the format dd-mm-yyyy format. I'm going to use the same format here. In the drop down are the available formats. You ha your bank has to be with one of these. If it is not, use your Excel expertise to convert the, the date format in one of these formats. Description, this is our narration field, though not mandatory, but as accountants we know the importance of description. Payee, again if your bank has a payee field, you can update that here. Reference number, I was mentioning check number, optional data. You can update your check number field here, it is optional. Withdrawal, we will map all the withdrawals in the withdrawal section, which is our debit column and deposit is our credit column which we will map here. The number format is given over here. In my case, it is uh, all numbers, decimal, pese, that's the format here. If it is in millions or there are spaces instead of commas with millions, you have all these options here. Indian banks normally just give it in uh, numbers, decimal, pese. Whatever we selected over here in the top, if this is going to be regularly your uh, data from the bank, that is my bank transaction date is always going to be in this format, etc. You can save these features for future import and click on next. Zoho is now verifying if all your data is proper or not. If my data is proper, then statements and line that contain error has to be zero. If there is any error, there will be some data mentioned over here that there is some error. You can click on this arrow on the left and it will show you all those line items along with the error which you need to rectify. Once you rectify the error, you can start the import procedure right from start again. In my case, this, that they are ready to import, 64 transactions are ready for import. 
unmapped fields are three which are they balance not needed branch name not needed value date not needed so i'm going to proceed i'm clicking on import to import all those 64 transactions into my bank excel import is the quickest import and the most uh, difficult one as well because if there are certain banks that do not give your date properly or your computer's excel software does not give the date properly if it's giving in an american format or indian format the date is the only column which causes a lot of trouble apart from that excel is the quickest option and pdf is the most this is the best option because you have to do nothing but just attach the file and zoho does everything you know you need to edit all the number uh, all the data from the top uh, above the header column you need to delete all this data you need to check your data is sane ensure the date is in the proper format etc etc so now as you can see we uploaded 64 transactions using pdf and 64 using excel so my uncategorized transaction is 128 right so for each transaction now there's going to be a duplicate entry because by mistake i have uploaded for the same period but uh, from two different sources the transaction so as you can see here this 3,41,000 entry is here as well as here. So the same transaction is duplicated. What I'm trying to emphasize is what if there are transactions that are imported but are not needed. In such cases, if the entire import is needs to be removed, you have an option to undo your last import. It will show you the date data of all that you have imported recently. In our case, it is the 64 transactions imported through the Excel format, which is the last import. So we can undo this import and all my Excel import, which I had done by mistake have gone. What is left is only the 64 transactions, which were done through the PDF format. It is also possible that there has been some overlapping. So the earlier PDF import was say for example from the first of the month till the 15th of the month and the second PDF import which you did instead of 16th you started again from the 15th of the month till 30th of the month. So the date of 15th the transaction pertaining to the 15th of the month have come twice. In such cases you have an option to select those respective duplicate transaction and exclude them. Mention the reason why you are excluding and you can exclude them. Say for example, if these are duplicates, I will exclude them. While excluding, if by mistake some wrong entries have been excluded, you have an option to retrieve them as well. Select the drop down arrow next to uncategorized transactions, go to manually excluded. All your excluded files are here. If these were excluded incorrectly, select the ones which you want to restore, click on restore and all those files, all those line items come back to uncategorized section all right so as of now i understand some bank servers are giving trouble in importing transactions the servers are not responding properly and hence banks are not being updated or refreshed the feeds are not being refreshed you can always download your pdf from your bank internet banking and upload them here pdf as well as excel format both are accepted Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more videos.